In the level Papu's Pyramid of Crash Team Racing, there's a hairpin turn at the end of the level that you can totally bypass by using this shortcut. Take a look. Keep in mind you're either going to need an Aku Aku or Uka Uka mask or a turbo boost to make it. Once you get the mask, save it for here. Right at the end of the wall, activate your mask and do a 180 turn over to the other side of the track. So there it is. Vancouver, Canada. It's the gateway to thousands of miles of wilderness. It's also home to Slam City Jam, the North American Skateboard Championships. In nature, gravity rules. Things fall. But in skateboarding, everyone is trying to defy gravity as much as possible. But try to fight it, and eventually it will break you down. The difference between falling and flying is a matter of control. This year at Slam City Jam, there was a new way to defy gravity. PlayStation kiosks were set up to introduce a new game called Grind Session. Grind Session is an awesome game. It's one of the best I've played so far in skateboarding. The levels are great. Uh, lots of detail. I just pulled off this 360 and real nice grab on it and I just didn't think I would land it but it pulled it through at the end so it was just awesome. You don't have to worry about the pain of ha having a wipeout. The game can uh, really uh, drive you to be a better skater. You can get on fire in that game when you get a lot of chicks and I was just smoking it. Not only was Grind Session at Slam City Jam, but Slam City Jam is in Grind Session. You can skate the championship course for yourself. One of the people checking out Grind Session was Ed Templeton, who's one of the six pros featured in the game along with four amateur skaters. It was fun working with a game developer, working on the different tricks, and to make sure it was a quality game. And those guys really did a good job on making that really realistic. I've been skating for 15 years. It's hard to explain why um, I keep doing it. It's just a love thing. You just get up every morning and go, what can I do today? Oh, I guess I'm going to go skate. And, and it's totally fun. It's the best thing you can ever do is to uh, make a living out of the thing that you enjoy the most. And then I got injured the first day of skating the course here. Definitely not 100% right now. I thought yesterday that I wouldn't be able to skate at all. So I'm lucky to even be out there at all right now. Despite an injured heel, Ed Templeton beat gravity and won best trick in the street division. It's all mental. I wish I had known that a little earlier, of course. <gasps> a lot of the scariest tricks are, are actually pretty easy. It's just in your head that it's scary. And then lately I've learned to just try it and take the slam if it happens. anybody's ever given the opportunity to do Spider-Man as a video game, I think they would just snap it up. He is the superhero. I mean, the best superhero that you could ever come up with. I mean. Plus, he relates so much to, like, who we were growing up as kids, you know, having trouble with, you know, with girls and money, and then also being able to have all these cool powers, be able to swing around, wall crawl, super strength, Spidey sense, the whole thing. We knew going in that it was going to be one of the most difficult games you could possibly try to do. The guy can go anywhere.
And then the day we got it working, it was uh, one of the happiest days of my life, I know that. Is that the bank ahead? Yes, but be careful, Spider. I saw the chopper dropping off armed robbers on top of the bank. Well, it was uh, the day we got Spidey. You could jump off a building, hit your swing button, swing to a building, crawl up, go over like you know nice complicated surfaces, pop down, and then start fist fighting with a, a bad guy that's uh, you know try to ruin the world. And we just looked at each other, all laughed and smiled, and said, "We got something that's really fun, even just to move the character around." I think the, the, the biggest aha was that getting Spidey to like swing from building to building and have it be fun. Because we started with a lot of different steps and it almost started off as a Spider-Man simulator at one point, you know. So I want to shoot my web up there and then that would make me, I think, swing in there. And like, no, that's not fun. Finally, like, no, what you want to do is be able to jump off a building, hit your button, swing to the next building. Stay right, right where you are, Spider-Man. Spider if you were Spider-Man, you don't think about where you're going to have to stick your web so that you can swing to the next building. These guys won't let up. And as people get better and better at playing the game, they learn that they can actually hit the R2 button, swing towards a building, turn in the air to kind of re release themselves from going straight to that building and, and just keep going. That was close. The biggest thing we realized while making this game is getting him in those poses and making it look fluid was so hard. Getting a guy to do that from a jump to a swing to a crouch to a look around is, uh, is very difficult. So if you're going to go and try to motion capture a guy doing all this kind of stuff, it's just not going to happen because there's no way you're going to be able to tie all those moves back to your ready stance. And so what we had to do there was really put the burden of all that on our animator. Just stepped up to the plate and, and became Spider-Man. Just nailed it on every single one. You know, we've got Spidey on screen. I've heard that he, he sits at home and actually gets into all the poses. Chad's gonna, he totally kept us in line with making sure that everything was right for all the, what you call, core Spider-Man fans that are out there. So we've got things in the game that only real live, true to life Spider-Man fans are gonna pick up on. You've got, you know, the Fantastic Four's building there, you know, in, in the very first level you swing by. Throughout the game, we're gonna pepper it with uh, just fun things that, you know, just the, the, the core people will know, but then also the people who don't know will be like, what, what is this? And then they, they might be interested in even learning more about it. And actually, we're going to try to give them as much information as they need. Leave them alone, Chuckles. Butt out, Webhead. Spider-Man? I asked for the police, and I get this? The cutscenes are essentially the driving force of the game. Your reward for getting through this level is to get to that next cutscene and see how the story is going to unfold. We've really stuck to the book on almost every single thing, and we've tried to make it the, you know, perfect Spider-Man game. He does the right web stuff, he has the right attitude, he has the right quips that he makes. I'm sorry, guys. Am I late for the party? At this point, I'm really looking forward to finding out what people think. We're getting to yeah. that point, you know, in the process where we can completely see the end and, and we got a pretty damn good feeling. <laughs> Testing a video game is a difficult thing to do, um, but we've learned a lot over the years. For example, like on, on the Tony Hawk game, we've got the professional skaters coming in, helping us with the game, testing it, giving us advice. So on Spider-Man, you know, it's kind of like the same thing. Spidey, I got the new rev for you. Thanks, Chad. I'll have that bug report for you as soon as possible. Oh, and Spidey, could you use maybe the front door next time? Yeah, no problem. Today I'm going to show you one of the coolest areas in Twisted Metal 4. The level is Neon City. There's a really cool secret area in this level that you can get a lot of weapons and power-ups, but it is hard to get to. Let me show you how it's done. 
Basically what you want to do is look for the train tracks and follow it all the way up the tunnel, just like this. Collect the power-ups on the way up. When you get to the top, slow down a little bit, collect the health, and turn around. Look for that little war point and just go forward. See this ramp right here? What you want to do is you want to turbo off this ramp into the room on the other side. Now that you're in this hidden room, what you want to do is you want to face this wall right here. Move forward and on top of the helicopter launch pad. Now the helicopter will pick you up, will start taking you to a hidden area. On your way, shoot all the enemies below you. Once the helicopter's dropped you off, move forward into the secret area. Collect all the weapons and power-ups here. When you've gotten all the power-ups, go to the jump pad to exit the secret area. And that's how it's done.